The Shelby Gang is all about family, and off-screen, it's no different. The cast of Peaky Blinders is super protective of their private lives. From secret marriages to secret babies, they're a sneaky bunch. But that hasn't stopped us getting all the details. Killian Murphy as Tommy Shelby Before he was an actor, Killian's main interest was music, and not just because it helped him meet the love of his life. In 1996, after dropping out of his law degree, his band performed in a London hotel. Someone special was in the audience, an art student named Yvonne McGuinness, and she had all the right qualities to catch Killian's eye. I think intelligence is sexy, really. Yeah. Being funny is sexy, I guess. After nearly a decade of dating, Killian popped the question in 2004. Later that year, they were married in a small ceremony in a French vineyard. The next year, the couple welcomed their first son, Malachi, before having another boy called Aaron in 2007. And that's about all we know, because Killian and Yvonne make a point of keeping themselves out of the spotlight. In fact, the actor considers fame the downside of his career. I live quite a quiet life with my wife. I don't go to parties or openings. I do normal things. I would hate if that became impossible. It seems essential to live like a normal person. His wife agrees, but for a different reason. She's not a huge fan of the changes her husband goes through for roles. Killian told Metro, If you talk to my wife about how I am during different films, she says she can see a marked difference. It's a difficult thing living with an actor, so he tries his best not to bring his work home with him. Killian believes acting is just a job and family is what matters, but it's not always easy balancing his home life and job. Luckily, he has a secret weapon. I have an amazing wife, and I couldn't do this without her and her understanding. Which is not something his on-screen brother can say. Paul Anderson as Arthur Shelby When Paul decided to become an actor in his 40s, it was all because of love. Okay, not technically, but his girlfriend was the reason he considered the career. She'd convinced him to try out after he impressed a bunch of friends reciting the lines of his favorite movie. While we're grateful to this mystery lady, it was also the last time he shared anything about his love life. Some fans thought he was dating a jewelry designer named Stephanie Clark as they featured on one another's socials for a while. Sadly, that ended in 2017. He then sparked romance rumors with his on-screen wife, Kate Phillips, because of their chemistry and this kiss. But that's just good acting because Paul is single, and he prefers things that way because it gives him more time for his career and his family. But he's not the only one with a strong link to family. Sophie Rundell as Ada Thorne Last year was an important one for this actress. She had her first baby and a super secret wedding to Matt Stoko. Her hubby's also an actor from Black Mirror and Netflix's Cursed. They met in 2016 while working together in a BBC series. Three years later, Matt popped the question and Sophie said yes. But fans weren't happy because they only found out about it after the fact. You see, we only knew they got engaged because Sophie accidentally let it slip during a 2019 interview. If that wasn't bad enough, she did it again, this time with the wedding. Well, maybe. It all started because of this picture. When fans saw the wedding band on her finger, they were devastated that the actress didn't share the news with them. But like she told The Guardian, everyone expects you to be desperate to be a princess for the day. That's really not my scene. Sophie did announce her pregnancy and birth, though. It's a funny one because I'm so nervous about privacy. You don't want to share too much on social media, but this is a beautiful, monumental part of my life. But it seems she's done letting the world in because she's gone back to sneaky silence. In fact, she still won't confirm if she's a missus. Thankfully, that's not a problem with this next actress. Natasha O'Keefe as Lizzie Shelby Off-screen, this actress's love life is about as far from Lizzie's as could be, and not just because she's not really a former lady of the night. Natasha met her husband, Dylan Edwards, while they were still in drama school. The actress admitted to developing feelings for Dylan pretty quickly and moved in with him right after they graduated. And they have never looked back. Sadly for us, this couple never revealed when or where they got engaged or married, but they have shared something else. A peek at their kids. In 2016, Natasha gave birth to her first child. She hasn't revealed the baby's gender or name, but she did admit that the little one would be getting a sibling in 2018. That's all we know. Unlike most celebs, Natasha does doesn't have social media. I just can't. I don't know how people find time. I can't be with the kids and be on social media at the same time. It's, it's not for me. But don't despair. While she doesn't often open up about her personal life, what she has shared has been incredibly sweet. We know that Dylan is an amazing dad and partner. Last year, she explained, he was being the full-time dad while I was at work. It's amazing. I couldn't do what I do without him. We're a tag team, totally. Our next actor may not be a part of a team, but he's okay with that. Harry Curtin as Finn Shelby 
Harry Curtin is the youngest actor on set, but as the only Birmingham native, he's also the unofficial dialect coach, which makes him a pretty busy man when you consider he's an actor, model, and still works part-time at a vegan cafe. Harry's too busy for romance, and he plans to keep it that way for an important reason, to stay grounded. I like to keep in sync with the world that we live in. At the end of the day, we've all got to do real things. He might have said that after some modeling work caused a stir. The actor was photographed opposite a woman in a wedding dress. It led to a lot of personal questions about who the lucky lady was, but actually, off-camera, Harry is single. He just turned 21 but considers himself an old soul and has admitted he's a vegan hippie. In fact, unlike most people his age, his ideal night out is Spence Inn. I don't really go out, and I certainly never go out looking for a fight like the Peaky Blinders. However, he's not the only cast member to keep his personal life under wraps. Anya Taylor-Joy as Gina Grey this actress is super private about who she's dating. In 2018, she said, There's a beauty in being anonymous. I'm quite a private person. But she's left us some clues. Back in 2017, fans suspected Anya was engaged because she was spotted with a diamond ring on her left hand. At the time, she'd been romantically linked to Owen Macken, so people wondered if he was the one that popped the question. We'll never know. By 2018, the ring disappeared and Anya never revealed who gave it to her, but she did give a hint about the way it ended. In 2019, she told Cosmo, Prior to filming Emma, I'd just had a devastating breakup, and it challenged everything. I was just incredibly insecure. Thankfully, that feeling didn't last long, because she has finally confirmed she's dating someone. His name is Malcolm McRae, and he's a musician. They were first seen smooching last year and moved in together a few months later. Hopefully, they'll keep letting us catch glimpses of their romance because these two are so cute together. But what about her on-screen hubby? That's a different story. Finn Cole as Michael Gray this actor maintains that his friends and family are the most important people in his life. I've surrounded myself with quite creative people, a lot of musicians, and so I love to go and watch my friends play. Or we just hang out watching movies or going to the pub and having a drink. It's a lot of that. But does that include a significant other? Mr. Cole is not keen to share, which might be the reason his fans have weird theories, like the idea that he's actually dating his Dreamland co-star, Margot Robbie. It kind of makes sense because their chemistry is, well, steamy. Sadly, that's just a wishful thinking. Their relationship is purely platonic. Finn told Variety, I learned so much from her. I believe she made me a stronger actor. But that doesn't mean he's totally alone. With three brothers and a bunch of friends, he's surrounded by love. And so is this next actor, Tom Hardy as Alfie Solomons. If you watch the show, you've seen Tom Hardy's wife. Only the couple never shared a scene together, so we'll forgive you if you missed her. We're talking about Charlotte Riley. Tom met her in 2009 when they starred in Wuthering Heights together. The timing was perfect. The actor had just gone through a very rough period. Tom's 1999 marriage to Sarah Ward lasted just five years and ended after he did a stint in rehab for battling addiction. He lost his wife but earned his sobriety and he's stayed that way since 2003. It still took time to meet the one. It wasn't Rachel Speed who he dated for four years, even though they had a son together. The right lady came along just after that breakup. But they started as friends because Charlotte initially thought Tom was a little strange, but not for long. A year later, they were engaged. Like Sophie, Tom and Charlotte also had a secret wedding in 2014 in France. Since then, they've welcomed two kids. Both actors are seriously protective of their children. Charlotte explained, I don't feel the need to keep people updated. I don't want to put myself out there like that. I enjoy privacy and anonymity. And so does her husband, who's notorious for avoiding questions about his personal life. But what is your question? Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> but one thing he hasn't dodged is what his kids mean to him. He calls them his reason for being. And honestly, that's sweet enough to make up for his extreme privacy. For more Peaky Blinders info, check out our other videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay awesome!